Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about exceptions and basically what happens when a mistake happens in your program. So in a typical program, you've got something like this right here. I've declared a variable called i. I'm, it's going to be made up of 10 divided by 1. I run this and th there should be no problem. Okay, I won't print out any message or whatever, but basically it should build and it should should just sort of work. No problem. Nothing nothing comes up. Now, if I divide by a zero, for instance, this is a problem, and I should be able to catch this in uh, compile time, like when I'm compiling my program, testing it out, things like that. So, um, so that's good while you're developing your program. But what happens when you release the program? Okay, so you've compiled it and you're going to give it to a friend or you're, you're going to use it in an actual project. Okay, so, so during compile time, you can see that there's an error and it tells you that it occurred at line four, right? And you can sort of debug it. But what happens once you've sent it out, you sent it out into the world and, and you've got to figure out, oh, it was this part of the, the code that, that failed. Well, Java has sort of a structure in place, um, uh, an approach that allows you to figure that out at runtime. And it works something like this. So you go try. So you got a try block. Then you've got a catch block. Like that. Oops, like that. Okay. And then we can even add in, if we want to, a finally block. Like that. So three, three parts. And so the try part of it has the code, the, the algorithm that you want to, um, to execute. So we're going to say int is equal to, uh, or int i is equal to 1 um, or 10 divided by 1. Something nice and simple. In here we're going to catch a general exception. And we're going to call, uh, we're going to pass in the parameter into the catch block uh, e of type exception. And, and the standard with, with Java is to name the parameter a lowercase letter of the uh, type of exception. And there are different types of exceptions. So in this case, it's just a general exception. It starts with a capital E. We're going to call it, uh, we're going to pass in the parameter lowercase e into here. And in here, we're just going to go uh, print out. There was a problem. If there was a problem, this should print out. And then finally, got to the end of the program like that. Okay. And then here we're just going to say uh, system out. Oops. All right, just like that. All right, so we've got three print statements that can come out. We're going to do this right here. And so if there's a problem, then the block, the catch block, should get um, executed. We should see the result of it. So it started to do the first block, the try block. Then it didn't do anything in the catch block. And then it did what was in the final block right there. So it basically did this, then that, skipped over catch, and then printed that out. Great. There was no problem, okay? But if for whatever reason I had divided by zero here, the catch block should kick in to say there was a problem. What was that problem? Well, I don't know right now. Okay, I haven't fully developed my program, but we know there's a problem. Okay, so right here we did the first part, the throw, uh, the uh, try block. Then it said, uh oh, there's an issue inside of your try block. We're going to say that uh, we're going to catch the exception, the general exception. We're going to call it E. Okay. We're not going to use E in here. We're not going to, we pass it in, but we don't use it, but we're going to print out a statement right here. And then we say we got to the end of the program. So the three steps are listed right there. So let's change this. We are passing in the exception E of type general exception. Let's see if we can print out some information about that exception when it happens. Here we go. 
All right, so we ran the first part, the try block. It caught the exception, so the catch block kicked in, and it printed something. What did it print? It printed basically the same sort of error message that we get during compiling, if this were to happen, but it prints it during runtime. So your program can tell you that there was a, a problem. And here we can see that it's a divide by zero problem that occurred. So a general exception was caught. It then figured out what type of exception it was, putting it into E. E gets printed out, basically. And then we get to the end of the program. Now, that's a quick little intro to exceptions. It's far more complicated and detailed than that. There's lots to it, but that's the beginning. All right, take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.